Hello everyone and welcome to this video about the sixth chapter in Blood and Magic. This chapter is called Reborn and it's one of those chapters that you that that really show that I was writing everything just for myself that I didn't really think about anyone else reading it in the future because uh, this chapter is full of quite daring things, I would say, and intimate as well. And it pretty much shows the girls doing all kinds of mistakes that they would need to learn from for the future. Um, it shows Veala uh, abusing her sexuality and uh, Silveria breaking the law quite blatantly. And both girls will pay for it dearly. This this chapter is supposed to show them what the consequences of their behavior could be. And also expands a little bit more on the lore. Because it will show them that even if they are so far away from the war, then they are still not safe, that there is danger even in their home city. And uh, it has some things in this chapter where I just wanted to make sure that once the girls go through them, it will somehow move them forward, that it will be some sort of change for them, especially for Veala. And um, it expands on the lore in that way that the girls start finally questioning Corden like why did he actually start the, the family and why does he do the things he does and for Veala especially uh, to even confess her feelings about her own life and about Corden and Silveria and just finally let it all out so that she could move forward but she still stumbles and uh, I actually came up even before writing this chapter with the idea that Veala would need some sort of mentoring because her father just doesn't know how to relate to her. He doesn't know how to guide her onward, so he picks someone else to do it for him, which could eventually evolve uh, the way that Veala carries herself, that, that she gets the, the direction in life and even though it doesn't show in this book and there's only a little bit of it in the next book uh, my overall plan back then was to write separate book or maybe just a series of stories where the girls would have their mentors and how they would um, grow up under a guidance it wasn't meant to be a part of this series but there are some hints of that in, uh, especially in the next book, but this is where it all starts when we finally realize that the girls need some almost like a replacement for their mother, but perhaps even a little bit more because even if Diane will, was present in their lives at that point, she couldn't actually help them to, to get past this uh, this way of life they would have at home because she was at Gordon's side and uh, she was she had different kind of upbringing so both girls would need someone to take them forward just out of the out of their homes and uh, make them more prepared for what is about to come so this uh, the things that happen in this chapter are quite borderline but there is a purpose to it and I hope that uh, even though it's short that you will still be able to get something out of it because things will get a little bit more intense from now on. So I thank you for watching this video and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.